Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss about the recent ad coder contest and also a problem from Code Forces Div 2 round. It was unrated, uh, sadly. And also, uh, yes, I know I've never uh, made a video for a long time, and I'm really sorry. I was just grinding for Code Forces. I was focusing for my training for IOI and I think IOI is still a distant dream for me. Yeah, so anyways, without further ado, let's just do the problems. Okay, so this is the problem. Problem A from Adcoder, Adcoder Quiz 2. So as usual, if you want to solve the problem first, you may pause the video. Okay, this problem is basically very easy, like it's for beginners to try out their language probably. Uh, okay, so the idea is very simple. So just make ifs, like check if uh, the guy is in novice uh, range, then make it 40 minus the score or point. And then intermediate 70 minus score advanced 90 minus score if already expert then just print expert very easy i don't need to show you the code okay uh let's move on to the second one okay so this problem is also very easy for me so as usual you may go ahead and pause the video okay so uh just make four strings and then check if a string is one then make then add this to an empty string so wait let me open my id first okay so uh it's like this so we make an empty string maybe like string s like this and then abc string abc okay and then if it's it's one from this from this one if it is one then make s plus a if it is Oh, I'm sorry. Um, okay, if it is 2, S plus B. If it is 3, S plus C. Like that. Very simple. Uh, I don't need to show you the code. Because uh, it's pretty easy. Okay, so let's move on again. Problem C. Okay, you might pause the video if you want to take a look at the problem. Okay, so this problem is a bit tricky, but not that tricky. Like, the implementations are very hard. Wait, not hard. Like, yeah, like, the implementations are very tricky. I didn't manage to solve it in Quentas. But my idea was correct, so let me just explain you my idea. Uh, why I know my idea is correct is because I've seen other solution and it's similar. So basically, let's just take this one as an example. So okay, see this. So in order to sort, we need to see this. So in here. A is bigger than B so it's like you make a map okay and then store uh, the value for for each character based on their position so it's like if it is B it's equal to 1 and if A it's equal to 2 like that so you can just compare each letter from two strings and then basically sort it out you can make a boolean sort I guess uh, I forgot maybe you can make it and then you can make sort 
uh, sort the this one you can store it on a vector so maybe sort vector comma the boolean sort like that pretty easy but make sure to make the map value but make sure to initialize the map in a global variable before the boolean sort so the computer knows what is the map you're making okay so i think you don't need, really need to know the code like should be pretty simple it's just basically a normal sorting with just you know um a slight modification okay so uh i'm just going to show you a problem from code forces uh, recent run i didn't do the prop I didn't do the problems uh, full because uh, forces apparently has some problems yesterday and the key uh, is really long so I didn't bother checking another problem since I know it won't be judged okay so as usual read the problems if you want pause the video okay so uh this problem is very easy if you know uh, the observation so the most optimal way to actually let me take this first uh wait okay, this is more interesting okay so the most optimal way to make all of them zero is basically just uh take just shifting all of these into the first i mean the last position so basically it's like nine nine because uh if you want to make nine to zero then you must uh decrement nine nine times so it's nine steps plus eight eight plus one why because you need to shift this to the last and then plus seven plus one again you need to shift this and then plus six plus one so on till plus one plus one so basically it is just um the number plus one if it is not in the last position not last and then if it is on the last it's basically just number you don't need to plus one because it's already in the last okay so that's it for the problem very easy uh solve it three minutes after contest okay so i think that's all for the video today i hope you enjoy it please leave a like comment and subscribe also share if you want and that's all for today, thank you.